Back with you here on Gridiron, Larry Kelly, Ron Poniewoz, and this is our Red Hurricane Report segment where Larry informs everybody on the Red Hurricane progress from the week prior and uh, all you want to know. Larry, before I turn you loose, there's one thing I want to touch on with Newcastle, and uh, in a way I'll be kind of surprised if you don't touch on it. Uh, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but if you don't, we'll, we'll make sure to get to it. So go for it, my friend. Listen, what a great football game. I, I watched the game, uh, the Newcastle Red Hurricane media page. They had it on. My dear friends, Eric Francis, Pat Amabel, do a great job. I'm watching the game. Blackhawk scores with less than three minutes to go in the game. Newcastle gets the ball and drives all the way down the field. And they drove down the field a couple big plays in that game. One was a pass from uh, – it was a reverse pass – from Michael Wells uh, that went for about 40 yards that got the ball down to about the 20-yard line. It was a great throw. Listen, Michael Wells has a Division I arm. Uh, when he played for me and teams would press us, I would let him take the ball out of bounds because nobody could throw that baseball pass 94 feet like Michael Wells. He lofted up a beautiful throw. It went for about 40 yards. Then after that, it was Chris Hood. Listen, Chris Hood – is a natural leader. He's a born leader. The bigger the moment, the better he gets. You know, and I don't say that lightly. I, I said that about my, my player last year, Shane Cato, who played baseball for me. The bigger the moment, the better he gets. That's what leadership's all about. That's who Chris Hood is. The bigger the moment, the better he gets. He did it against Montour, and he did it again. He did it again against Blackhawk. Ran in for a touchdown less than a minute to go, uh, and now the score is 21-20, and, you know, Joe Coward got a decision to make, and you got to believe in your guys. You got to believe that they can get it done, and you can't be afraid to take chances if you want to be a champion. Look, when I coach, I play to win. I play to win. If I got a lead at the end of the game in a basketball game, I'm pressing you. I'm going to make you beat me. You watched the state championship game last year. We had first and third. I'm running the guy from first base. If you're going to beat me, you have to make a play. Joe Coward is not afraid to win the game, and he went for two. And he called a beautiful play. And Chris Hood, under an enormous amount of pressure, threw a strike in the end zone to another young man who played for me, Mateo Savage. Mateo Savage played ninth grade basketball for me. This kid was tough. This kid was smart. He has great hands, and he's a high-character kid. Uh, it didn't surprise me that he caught the winning two-point conversion. And if you put it anywhere near him, he was going to catch him. He was going to catch it. You know, again, Mateo was another kid. The bigger the moment, the better he got. A really high-character kid, good basketball player, tough kid, smart kid. And so it was Chris Hood to Mateo Savage for the win. I give those two young men a tremendous amount of credit. I give Joe Coward and his staff a tremendous amount of credit for coming from behind in that game, much the same way they did against Montour, and having the guts to go for the win with less than a minute to go. Well, you, you mentioned Mike Wells, and so that's, that's a portion of, of what I wanted to touch on. Uh, Larry, a couple weeks ago when they played at home against Montour, uh, one thing that, that kind of went without saying, uh, he flipped the field position with his punts. He was, I think he averaged like 50-some yards a punt. Uh, against Beaver, he did the same thing. I think he had a long of 60-some yards. And, and, and th that's one of the things, people always talk about hidden items in a box score, things that won't show up, uh, being that we're talking football. Uh, it, it's that, that obviously isn't like a, a rushing stat or a passing stat or a receiving stat or a score or anything. It's just a, a kind of a lost thing, but it's glaring. It's, it's there. That's kind of what is, is assisting the defense. We, we always talk about a 12th defender being the sideline. That might be like a 13th defender, uh, so to speak, is, is the punting. You know, just pinning them back and, and, uh, and letting the defense play with the, the benefit of a longer field to defend. Special teams have been outstanding for Newcastle all year. Not only is Mike Wells a great punter, but their place kicker has a great leg. Help me, who is it, the young man? That, Angel Forrest. Yes, 
he does a tremendous job. He's steady. He, he's made big kicks all year. Uh, hey, special teams, uh, if you're going to win football games, your special teams have to be sound. And when they're special, and when your special teams are special, like Newcastle's special teams have been this year, uh, it is going to have a major effect on the outcome of a game. And it did this week, and it's done it throughout, throughout the season. So I like where the Hurricane's at right now. I really do. These young men have confidence. The coach is not afraid to put it on the line and win it. Two come from behind victories I've watched now. The one against Montour, this game here, uh, great, great victories. And again, Chris Hood, the bigger the moment, the better he gets, this young man. He is, uh, you know, he, he, his, he has steely determination, and he's unflappable. And uh, the pass to my man, Mateo Savage, no question Mateo was catching it because he's that kind of young man also. When I became an attorney, I chose to stay here because my friends and neighbors needed a lawyer they can count on. I believe that if you're hurt on the job, you shouldn't have to go it alone, especially if your employer or the insurance company tries to bully you. You can count on me to get you the workers' compensation benefits that you deserve. Even if it gets rough, I'm not going anywhere. I'll stand my ground right here where I've always been. I'm Larry Kelly, and I'm a Newcastle guy.